Hey there, it's Timmy, the Runner Chef, and it's time for another Runner Chef recipe. It's my goal to bring you meals that are easy to fix, they're quick, healthy, and with little cleanup. As you know, I'm an owner of a business, I have a family, and I also train for endurance sports. So my time to cook needs to be short, simple, and taste great. Today, what I've got for you is an inside out lasagna. On a cool day like today, it's a little bit rainy. I want something that kind of comforts me. And this is the perfect meal for that. It's very quick, all the flavors of lasagna on one fast meal. The first thing you need to do is get your water on to boil. The next step would be to heat your pan and put just a tablespoon or two of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna heat this over medium heat. This recipe really only requires a few ingredients. We've got one diced onion, and eight ounces of white sliced mushrooms, three cloves of garlic, one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes, this is a baby spinach. We're also gonna need the pasta of your choice. I suggest something whole wheat, maybe a rotini or um, bow tie, which is what I'll be using. You want something that's got some ridges in it that will hold the pasta sauce. That way, each bite you get great flavor. Once your oil has heated, you're going to add one diced onion. I'm also going to add to this three cloves of garlic. Saute these over medium heat for about three to five minutes. Once your onions get translucent, you're going to add eight ounces of sliced white mushrooms and salt and pepper. About half a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of fresh cracked black pepper. By well, this time, your pots of water should have come to a boil. We'll add eight ounces of pasta to this. I'm using bow tie whole wheat pasta. About a half a box. After you cooked your mushrooms for about three minutes, they will release some liquid and soften a little. At this point, you can add one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Make sure you get all those nice bits off the bottom of your pan. Tons of flavor in that. To this, we're gonna add about five cups of baby spinach, which may seem like a lot, but it really wilts down. Once you have your spinach in there, you just cover this, turn it down to about medium low heat, just to let that spinach wilt. Once your pasta is cooked about 10 to 11 minutes, you can give it a try. That's done. Once it's done, you're just gonna bring it over to your sink. Just drain the water off. And then you're gonna add your pasta straight to your sauce. Give this a nice stir, and you're ready to serve it. And you can serve this as is. As you can see, this is kind of a vegetarian meal. I tend to cook a lot of vegetarian meals. You could also add some chicken sausage to this, some pork sausage, if you wanted to add meat to this. There's a few different ways you can serve this. You can mix in some ricotta cheese, part skim milk, about a quarter of a cup. This will make it really creamy and bring the ricotta all the way through. You could also just plate the pasta itself, add a dollop of the ricotta onto the top of it, then sprinkle with some fine mozzarella cheese. Fresh mozzarella is really great at this. You could also put this in a ramekin, bake it in the oven at 375 degrees for about 10 minutes, just to get some nice crusty cheese on top of it if you really want it to be more like lasagna. The way I've chosen to serve this is to mix the ricotta cheese in. Put this on a plate. Add some shredded mozzarella right on top. You can serve this alongside a salad, 
some fresh bread. It's a great meal. I hope you give this a try. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments. Maybe you tried something different. Let me know what you tried. Thanks, guys.